Hello friends. So far we have discussed uh, uh, many items or many terms related to DBMS that is database management and the relation with DBMS that is the RDBMS this is called relational database management and related to RDBMS uh, we discussed about uh, table we discussed about tuples and attributes we discussed about degrees okay. and cardinality and in addition we have also discussed different keys like primary key candidate key or alternate key uh, moreover uh, the discussion is in incomplete if we uh, do not uh, uh, discuss about uh, ddl dml and dcl uh, now this is time to install mysql in your system so for that we are moving to our screen so here you see uh, the chrome browser in chrome browser i am going to write uh, dav.mysql.com so, so this is the url and we are going to download uh, mysql from developer zone so click on this URL in Omnibox and press enter. And as soon as the screen opens up, you see different icons and uh, different uh, items on menu bar. But uh, we don't have to any concern with these items. And in the top right top, we are also is also asking for login and register and since we are going to download MISQL so uh, no need to login or register simply scroll down and from here you see MySQL community server here you click the latest one so as soon as you click on a uh, community okay. server uh, it brings to your it brings to you on your uh, mysql community server 8.0.28 because uh, we are going to work in microsoft windows only and that is why uh, we will have to select microsoft windows and uh, though there are many platforms Ubuntu, Debian, Red Hat Enterprise, Linux, and many more. But uh, since we have to work in Microsoft Windows only, and that is why this option is appropriate, and we'll move ahead. So scroll down, and here you'll get three options Windows x86 64 bit zip archive and Windows x86 64 with zip archive debug binaries and test suite but uh, we don't have to have any concern with these two items so we click on go to download page so as soon as you uh, click on download page this will bring you to this is screen and here uh, first item is uh, of 2.3 megabyte weight and uh, second item weight is 435.7 m means 7 435.7 uh, mb so uh, obviously uh, this will have uh, this will have uh, many components and required for rdbms so we'll have to download this so i'm clicking this and uh, here on the next screen we'll get login or sign up to skip this and simply come to no thanks it's just start my download so here you see download is started and as long as it takes time uh, we'll have to wait and uh, as soon it's a very uh, a small program for that is right i'm a megabyte is not a much uh, bigger size 
so we are waiting and i am getting it this is 436 mb so it is downloaded here and the next step is to click on the arrow button and this window pops up where you will have to select open as soon as you click open it checks configuration of windows and the system so uh, please wait while windows configure my sql installer community and it's asked for admin rights to login so i have given the permission next window appears up again it will ask for the administrator login and here you see so many items to be installed so out of these five items and in the left pane you see there are four options and all these four have options have to be finished while downloading or installing the mysql in your systems and there out of five items we'll have to select server because we are going to make this system as a server and after selecting the server click on next and here it shows the install directory so i am going to install this in d drive not in c drive and then i'll have to click next it gives the warning but no worries click on yes and as soon as you click yes it comes on installation window and here you will have to execute to install so within few seconds it will be the mysql server 8.0.28 will be installed in your system so until unless it is uh, installed you will have to wait and once it is installed completely it uh, the next tab will appear in the bottom that is next yes this is next tab so you'll have to click this again ready to configure so now it's time to configure my sql in your system click next here and from this screen type of type and networking uh, so there are many platforms like uh, development computer server computer and dedicated computer so out of these platforms we are going to select development computer only and nothing uh, is required to be changed here and simply press or click next and the next screen shows authentication method means this is time to give the strong password to your mysql so here you will have to give the password and since since this is my own system and i'm only person who will work on this system and that is why i'll give very simple password for my sake even i don't need to give the password but yes if you if, if you do not want to give the password simply say uh, empty and then click check to authenticate the password so if it is okay then it will show you the next button So if it is okay with this password, root password, then we'll move to the next button once again. I don't know why it is taking much time. Is stuck somewhere okay now it is checked 
so we'll have to click next button here and uh, this is uh, my sql 80 is a window service name and if you want to change the service you can cha change the service or you can i'm going to change the service once again so i'm i'll give 8080 service is this so my system services uh, my system service or windows service name is mysql8080 and click next so all okay. these three options are required to be passed for success uh, successful uh, installation of mysql is it stuck 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 why 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 if it's is stuck here it means yeah. there is a problem and if it passes this uh, starting the server or the windows service if it qualifies the service then it will move to the next option so till that you will have to wait and once the service is started then arrow will turn to green tick and if not it means there is some problem yes yes it has passed the option and update updating the start menu link so in this way your mysql server is installed in your system now finish it next finish and after this we'll have to install connector to make the connectivity between mysql and python so we'll have to install python connector to in install python connector yes, yes. this is the application so one instance one instance is already running uh, we'll have to add the connector and for connectors select like the product product is my sql connector and out of five connectors i have to choose one so i am choosing connector for python the latest one and click on arrow button so it is added to the next window and simply say click next again execute fifty percent and it has to complete 100%. So this is 100% successfully installed. And now next. And finish. And this way we have seen that my SQL server has been installed and connected as well. So this is the way how we can install this uh, mysql on your system uh, plus the connector to connect python to mysql server and now hope you uh, understood how to install the system mysql system on your computer and uh, if you are satisfied and if you have understood why i have uh, installed connector why i have installed mysql in our system so if you understood kindly uh, share with your friends and uh, if, if you have not subscribed my channel yet kindly subscribe so we'll meet in the next video with my sql commands so till then bye